add our shrimp first. So just we have to put it all in there. Okay, so we need a bigger bowl, right? All right, so for this ceviche recipe, we're going to use lemons, limes. We've got some chopped cilantro, some chopped onions, diced tomatoes, avocado. I've got one navel orange, and we've got some chopped shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna ask Avery to help. We've got a request hi, hi, hi. to see more of Avery. So Avery, you wanna help? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so now we are going to, we've got a cup of cilantro, right Avery? Yep. And I want you to add the um, half onion. We have a half of onion. Put that in the bowl. Okay. All right, and then we have some chopped tomatoes so we're gonna we can actually put these we have a half a navel orange put those in there I like the citrus of the orange it makes it taste sweet to me and we we have a couple of diced tomatoes so you can just pour those in there good job Now we're going to add our avocado. Actually, you know what? Let's add the shrimp first. So we're gonna add our shrimp first. So just, we have to put it all in there. Okay, so we need a bigger bowl, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get a bigger bowl and come right back. All right, so we got a temporary bowl here just for mixing purposes. So we're gonna dump this in here. And we're going to just use this bowl to mix it temporarily because we're gonna let this mixture stay overnight and we do not want it to stay in a metal bowl. So we will put it back in us in a glass bowl. And that's because we're putting citrus juices in here and we wanna make sure the acid doesn't mess up the bowl, the metal. All right, Avery, so add the cilantro. I'm sorry, the avocado. We already got the cilantro. So we're gonna add our cilantro. Our avocado. Thank you. And we're gonna add some lemon juice. So we've got three lemons. Go ahead and pour that in there. I'm at three squeezed limes. Just pour it all over. So this is actually going to cook the pound of raw shrimp. I didn't say how much shrimp we had. And now we're going to add three squeezed lemons. Okay. And we're going to add a half of a navel orange. And this is actually going to be in the refrigerator overnight. We're just going to make sure everything gets some of that acid flavor. So as you can see, there's a lot of liquid in there. That's actually going to cook the shrimp. So this is what the shrimp looks like now. It looks raw. We're going to pour it in two of these bowls, put saran wrap over it, and put it in the refrigerator. And in the morning, because it's nighttime now, right? It's bedtime. Yep. We're going to be ready to taste it. So we'll have it for lunch. Yep. All right, so we'll see you in the morning. Bye. All right, guys, so this is how the recipe turns out. And we ended up letting ours stay in the refrigerator for two nights instead of one because we have jumbo shrimp and they were not thoroughly cooked. So you either need to chop them up or use smaller shrimp if you want to keep them in the refrigerator for one night. And this is a favorite of mine and I usually get it from my local res restaurant, but during the pandemic, I'm not gonna order anything that's going to be cold. So I've gotta learn how to make it myself. Okay, Avery's live. You're about to taste test. Okay, go ahead, take your first bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you got a piece of shrimp. You know it's a big bite. Good? Okay, Avery gives you the thumbs up. All right guys, so that was the ceviche recipe and we will leave the directions for how to make this in the description box. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.